when I was growing up right outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, I was friends with a guy who knew a local wrestler. My buddy was a bodybuilder at the time, so they were at the gym together quite often. He was one of the local guys who started with Tri-State Wrestling, which eventually turned into ECW Wrestling. We used to go to all the shows. We used to go backstage and hang out, which was all cool and things like that. Unfortunately, a few years back on the national news, I see that he, the rockin' rebel Chuck Williams, killed his wife and himself. And I was in shock. And I just thought it was just crazy how this guy who I knew see that what he did. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Let's take out professional wrestling in general and just say we were at work and we had this buddy who was friends with this guy and we all became friends and we all went out. And then one day we found out he was a murderer. It's fucking wild. That's a wild story. That's a story you tell everybody. But for some reason, I don't know why it is, there's a little bit of me who's just like, oh yeah, that's the Rock and Rebel. What a piece of shit. But no, he's the ultimate piece of shit. It's a crazy story. You hung out with and knew a man who was capable of murdering his fucking wife and himself. A real low life piece of shit. Everyone always knew that Rock and Rebel was kind of an asshole. But this is like an asshole to a whole new level, obviously. It's a wild story that this man was in your life. This man was in my life. This man was in a lot of people's lives. And he was always chalked up to just kind of being like a carny dude. That's the rock and rebel. He is what he is. That's what he is? Murders a woman? He was a gross human being. What he did was despicable. And it is a wild story that you spent years with this guy. Turned out to be a fucking murdering piece of shit. Ask me how I really feel. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly wherever you listen to your podcast. Go subscribe. While you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.